everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope each and every one of you had a great holiday season with this Thanksgiving. If you are new to my channel, please take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So this video is gonna be for those individuals who are looking to change their career. They are completely doing a 180 from what they were doing prior, be it a chef, a teacher, a musician, and you want to be a PA. And so this video is for you. It's gonna just kind of give you three of my things that I think are important for you to kind of take into consideration um, while changing your career. With respect to changing your career, I think it's really important that you absolutely talk it over with you know those that you trust kind of like your inner circle and you also like think about it yourself like make sure that this is what you want to do because it's just that you know some people are leaving really good paying jobs to now do this career as a pa and you're like well i'm gonna be out of commission for two years how am i gonna support my family or how am i gonna support myself so those are some things that you have to think about because Technically, uh, you're really not supposed to work while you're going through PA school. I know there are most schools that don't want that to happen. Um, some schools are part-time schools, so it'll take three years to go through the whole program. And so some people do work and some work even with the full-time school. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. And it's difficult. So it's important to just kind of understand exactly where you would fall and how you would navigate like paying for life and actually going through PA school because it is a rigorous process. So definitely number one thing you should do is think it over, talk it over with your friends, your loved ones, your family members, and make sure that this is the right decision for you. Now, after you've done that, I suggest that you do your research, right? So it makes sure that this is exactly what you want to do. So when it comes to being a PA, you have to have graduated from a four-year degree. If you went to school and you got an associate's degree, in some trade, uh, then you're gonna have to go to school for another two years prior to applying to PA school because you have to have graduated from a four-year accredited university or college to actually be eligible to apply to PA school. With that being said, you also have to now complete all the prerequisites. And if one of those prerequisites is the GRE, you also have to take the GRE, which is your general exam that will help you get into PA school. It kind of is like a souped up SAT or ACT if you remember those tests. So it's important for you to actually know what it's gonna take. So that means going to each program that you're interested in, if it's in your state or out of state, looking at their prerequisites, looking at the GPA requirements and the personal statements and the shadowing experience and all of those things and making sure that this is exactly what you wanna do and then you're able to actually complete it in a reasonable amount of time, right? So if you're completely changing your career, if you're giving yourself four years or two years or three years to get into PA school and complete it, then you just need to know exactly what it's going to take for you to do that. How hard are you gonna to have to hit the books? Uh, are you gonna actually have to go back to school and take prerequisite courses or do you already have them in your undergraduate degree that you took prior. For most of you that may be changing your career, that answer is going to be no. So you're going to actually have to go in and kind of sort out how you're going to take those prerequisites, uh, where they're going to fall with respect to summer courses, spring or fall session, and then exactly what you're going to need to do after that in terms of applying through CASPA's website to the various different PA programs. But lastly, I suggest that you absolutely know that this is what you want to do. So this falls under just going through and talking to PA PAs and shadowing PAs, knowing that, hey, like, yes, I want to be a PA, right? So I'm not going to pass out every time I see blood or every time I see somebody uh, do a venipuncture or something like that, you know? <laughs> you want to make sure that you're able to do the various different things and talk to patients and, you know, give bad news and actually interact in a way that PAs will be interacting on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's not gonna be something that you have an aversion to. Because although it may look glamorous to some people, you know, some people are like, oh yeah, like I think I wanna do this. I met a PA and they're great. You know, sometimes after you've shadowed a PA and you've gone through the day with them, you realize like, no, this, at least this particular specialty is not for me. So definitely look at the position, look at the various different working models, look at the different specialties, shadow as many people as you can so that you can actually see what PAs do and know for sure that this is exactly 
exactly what you want to do with your life because this is a life changing moment, right? You are doing a complete 180, as I said, and changing your whole life around from one career to another. And so it's a really big decision that you have to make and you have to make sure that you're making the best decision for you, your family, and that you're also making a decision that you're not going to regret later on down the line. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much for asking this question. Hopefully it answered your, uh, your question. And if you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and really following me on this journey. You guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. Please follow me on Instagram. I will talk to you guys next time.